The next superhero offering from DC is one you may not know a lot about. So grab your protective exoskeleton, because this is everything you need to know before you go see Blue Beetle. And in order to get you as blue and beetly as you can be, we're gonna answer five questions for you. Oh, oh that's space. Re-entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no. So some of you might be asking, who exactly is Blue Beetle? The history of Blue Beetle actually dates all the way back to 1939, when it was created by Charles Nicholas Wojtkowski for Fox Comics. Now back then, BB was just a mystery man in a simple costume named Dan Garrett, whose powers came from a sacred scarab, which is a beetle-shaped amulet or stone popular in ancient Egypt. The rights were eventually sold to Charlton Comics, who turned him from a mystery man into a person named Ted Cord. Now from there, Blue Beetle scurried its way over to DC Comics, where Ted Cord eventually met his demise. Because then, a new guy, a teenager named Jaime Reyes, was given powers from another scarab. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. Jaime actually gained popularity via a new Blue Beetle comic book, and then later as a key cast member on the animated series Batman the Brave and the Bold. He actually was also on the list of characters DC wanted to movie-fy for about 20 years, so here we are, finally. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. Now, when it comes to Blue's powers, the Scarab gives him the ability to produce a super strong exoskeleton around his form, and then produce various tools and weapons based on whatever he can imagine. I mean, pretty cool, right? I wish I could do that with a blow dryer whenever I'm in a hotel. I feel like they're just never that strong in hotels. Uh -oh, yeah! Nice choice. How exactly will this fit in with the rest of the DC universe? I think I cut a bus in half. And I am here to tell you, it's actually a little bit up in the air. So the film was initially meant to be part of a former regime's plan to produce two mid-budget films per year for the service formerly known as HBO Max. And they were actually supposed to take place somewhere else in the multiverse, away from the rest of the big budget DC movies. And the first two projects put into motion were this and Batgirl. But as you may have already heard, DC's got new leadership in James Gunn and Peter Safran, and Batgirl was actually shelved completely while Blue Beetle was promoted to a full-on theatrical release. Yeah! So for right now, it's kind of just living in its own world within DC, not really a part of the DCEU or guns, but it could very well be folded into that DCU, depending of course on what fans think, and more importantly, how it does at the box office. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh, Let's talk about who's in it now. Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? Starring in this one as Jaime Reyes slash Blue Beetle is Sholo Maridueña, best known for his role as Miguel on the series Cobra Kai. And this actually marks his first ever film role. Now, Jaime's family in the film includes Belisa Escobedo as his sister, Adriana Barraza as his nana, Damian Alcazar as his dad, and none other than George Lopez as his uncle Rudy. The director, Angel Manuel Soto, said that building an authentic Mexican-American family with a variety of accents and experiences similar to the comics was actually a big part of making this film. And it's a big reason why I'm so stoked for this, because Blue Beetle is actually the first solo film for a Latino superhero. My family, that's what makes me strong. I actually got to sit down with the all Latin cast, including me, which was a first. So check out that big ticket interview on Fandango for some more goods. Angel and I had a lot of conversations about like, this is for us as kids. You know, yeah. we didn't, there weren't a ton of examples, uh, at least on the big screen, so that's why. Yeah. And how much we all love superheroes. It's like we ah, find I know, fun. right? Yeah, thanks. Back to the rest of the cast. So Susan Sarandon plays Victoria Cord, which makes you wonder if the previous Blue Beetle identity, Ted Cord, I just told you guys about, could reemerge to help Jaime. And rumor has it, she's a villain. And helping Victoria do bad things is Raul Trujillo as Carapax, the indestructible man. I mean, bring on the supervillains. No word yet on any cameos from other DC characters and actors that we already know, but expect plenty of references to other heroes for sure. What the? Host acquired. Who said that? It's okay, it's gonna be okay. At this point, I'm sure you're like, okay, okay, Naz, but what is this movie and story actually about? Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Yeah, that's more like it. 
Now, as far as the story those actors will be portraying, we know that Jaime has been aged up just a bit, so don't expect any high school shenanigans a la Spider-Man. Instead, we're gonna see Jaime finding and bonding with a mysterious alien scarab, as seen in the trailer. And from there, he's gonna follow your standard superhero arc of learning his powers and then learning a little bit about being a hero. And having just learned that aliens are actually here on Earth, I kind of wish Blue Beetle existed IRL. Anyways, he'll also be fighting some bad guys, in this case, Cord Industries, who wants the Scarab for their own evil purposes. I mean, the greed is endless in these comics. Okay, let's talk about who made it. Nana? I advise me back away. Now, behind the scenes, we got director Angel Manuel Soto, who I mentioned earlier, who actually previously helmed the certified fresh coming of age drama Charm City Kings in 2020. And it kind of feels like Blue Beetle could have a similar theme for young Jaime. And putting the pen to the paper was writer Gareth Dunnett Alcacer, who previously wrote the Gina Rodriguez action flick, Miss Bala. So we're talking a coming of age expert director and an action experience writer. I mean, I am just loving that combo. You are a superhero, cabron. Okay, hey friends, that's everything you need to know before you go see Blue Beetle in theaters August 18th. My name is Naz Perez. Please let me know if you see a Blue Beetle in real life. And get your phone out, and you can actually scan this QR code to get your tickets to the movie now. Thanks for watching, and be sure to rate and review this film at RottenTomatoes.com.